track just coming in within the last five to 10 minutes. Another jog back to the east. If you were watching all day yesterday, we were tracking a jog to the west. Just about each run that came out from the National Hurricane Center. Now working a little bit more to the east. Take a look at the 11 o'clock advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Winds still at sustained at 75 miles per hour and the moving to the north now at 21. So it has been accelerating a little bit the last several hours expected to slow down and then make landfall somewhere along the eastern part of the Connecticut coastline during tomorrow late morning or very early afternoon as either a category one hurricane or a strong tropical storm. Once it moves inland, just within a matter of a few short hours, it begins to weaken considerably. However, because it's moving a little bit more to the east, there is a slightly higher chance we could see those 40 mile per hour winds build in across parts of southern New Hampshire still have a medium impact for those mostly in southern New Hampshire and especially in the higher terrain of the Monadnock region and especially along the coast. In terms of heavy rain, at least a medium impact, but it's not a one size fits all. The best shot of some heavy rain with some flooding looks to be in southwestern parts of the state, and then we'll be tracking a concern along the coast near the time of high tides later tomorrow night about this time and again around midday on Monday. Much more in the hour by hour outlook and those impacts again in a little bit.